losing wrestling parlance, you could say this might be a loser leave town match as the SEC West race is heating up and two contenders go at it today in our Jefferson Pilot Game of the Week as Auburn travels to Oxford to meet the Ole Miss Rebels in one of those classic Southeastern Conference showdowns, and it's coming your way in a matter of moments. But for the most part, the first four games of the season. Ronnie Brown. Ronnie Brown shows us he's got some good speed. Watch this, when he gets the football, watch how quickly he's gonna get to the hole, out to the outside there. Watch this, just jump through, and now you're just in the foot race trying to catch him from the back. Second down and short. And off goes to Brown again. He gets the corner one more time. Brown out to the 30-yard line. Good, strong running. What a great block on the corner. Mark Perra, number 69. He drives Josh Cooper off. That's what allows him to get to the outside. Brown. Does he get the corner? He does, Ronnie Brown out to midfield. On his feet inside the 40, what a run from the sophomore out of Cartersville, Georgia. Three tight ends in the game now for Auburn. Johnson's the fullback, Brown the tailback. That's Wallace in motion, it's Brown. And he sneaks in off the left side, touchdown Auburn, his seventh rushing touchdown of the season. What has been a crazy year in the SEC. Here's Ronnie Brown trying to get to the outside, gets seven, eight. Whew. Diamond and Wallace are your two tight ends, and they help create some space for Ronnie Brown. Brown down the sidelines. He will go the distance. Well, I talked about shedding blocks. You've got to get off the block. Watch Ronnie Brown just turn it on. He went through the hole untouched. Didn't have to break any strides. Just ran through there full speed. Brandon Johnson tailback is Ronnie Brown. And the handoff goes to 23. And 23 falls forward to the 35. He's a big play guy. He's their big play threat, really, on offense right now. Here's the handoff to Brown. Ronnie Brown runs over defender out to the... 45 of Ole Miss. Boy, you talk about delivering a hit. When you're the safety, Eric Oliver, you're supposed to be do the hitting. He's doing the receiving. Look at that. That's been painted. And that cost Ole Miss there as Espy fell down. Here's Brown. Ronnie Brown. Brown stiff arms on his feet. Touchdown, Tigers. They answered the call. Well, offenses make you pay when you make a mistake. And watch Ronnie Brown go through here. A missed tackle right in there. You've got to bring them down. But good, good selection, good vision into the hole. And we see that Ronnie Brown speed. He bursts through there. Yeah, I think they need a couple of first downs at least on this drive. You don't want to give Ole Miss any momentum. There's a good way to get some of those first downs. Hand it off to 23 as he'll give you 10. He runs through tackles. A lot of backs would go down right here. He runs, runs right through the block of the tackle, I should say, of Charlie Anderson. But a big down here, third and seven from the eight. Spread formation, here's Espy in motion. Manning, Manning can run it, but he wanted to throw it, and is it picked off? It is. Traveris Robinson with the INT with a buck 32 to go in the game, and looked like Eli Manning could have run with the football, his third interception of the day. I cannot believe that he did not run that football. But a stop here by Ole Miss will force Auburn to punt it. And they'll have one last chance. But the first down will seal the victory for the Auburn Tigers. And Ronnie Brown adds to his totals. He has now carried the football 33 times for 219 yards. And Davey gets to the hole so quickly that the defensive players can't even get off their blocks. He's got that acceleration into the hole. It's been a good one today. First down and 10, and Auburn will take a knee. Tommy Tuberville picks up the win. The Tigers go to six and three and four and two in league play. Ole Miss falls to five and four and two and three. It was an impressive display by Ronnie Brown, but gutsy comeback by Ole Miss when it looked horrible. 
They had a chance. They had it at the seven with a minute and a half to go in the game and turned it over. We'll come back to Oxford after this.